Hey everyone, it's Stephanie, and this week we're doing something a little bit different. Um, it's been a busy week for me. I had my birthday, and we had a lot of festivities, and I also had a podcast to edit, so I can't do my normal video. Uh, so that'll be coming out sometime next week, but here's a video I've been wanting to do for a long time. This is about the weirdest nail polish company that you might own some from, but you've probably never heard of. So back when I first started getting into nail polish, I, like many other people, wanted to expand my collection really fast. So I started going to places like, of course, TJ Maxx and Ross and also Five Below. And at Five Below, I found a brand called Smoke and Mirrors, or as it says on their bottles, S&M, which I thought was hysterical. Anyway, they had a Neons collection that actually was like pretty okay. And I bought that and I bought like an embarrassing amount of their other polishes. And they're all downstairs in a box right now because I'm going to actually give them to my sister and my mom. But for some reason, when I bought these polishes, I became obsessed with who was making these polishes. And the company making these polishes is called Pearl World Inc. So Pearl World seems to be a company that is still around. They have almost zero social media presence. Uh, they had an office that is now closed, but they are basically a private labeler and they private label a whole bunch of stuff. Their most high profile one I can find is the Paris Hilton line of nail polishes, but I've also seen them um, on the back of like polishes that are for Mary Claire. I found some of those at Ross. But mostly it's these smoke and mirror polishes. And I think that also there are some smoke and mirror cosmetic items that you can buy at Five Below as well. So anyway, I do not know what caused me to look into this, but I decided to like search Pearl World and I found their website. And what I found on their website was truly mind boggling, like nothing I had ever seen before. But it's really only the very beginning that just makes me go, what? <laughs> what? Why is this happening? Um, so come on a journey with me while I read to you the Pearl World website. All right, so here we are on pearlworld.com. And as you can see, really all that's here is this one big image. And a fun thing about this image is that actually it is the background of the web page. And I know that because if you zoom in, if you zoom out, it doesn't change anything. It doesn't get bigger and it's very hard to read. So I'm actually going to take a screen cap of this and blow it up for myself so that I can read it for you. All right, here we are. It's uh, fuzzy, but it's definitely easier to read. So um, here goes. Join me on this journey. Pearl World Inc. was founded in 2015 and resides in a unique, warm, stimulating office space on 57th Street, the Billionaire's Row of New York City. Upon entering the showrooms, one's eyes and mind open and fill with wonder. Greeted by otherworldly monk figures, two life-size sheep and a neon Coco Chanel. Our client guests feel amazed and empowered as their senses are enraptured with transcendent sights, fragrances, and cool custom sounds. Dane and Ying Eliaison, the owners and creative life force of Pearl World Inc., greet their visitors with generous smiles, hugs, and kisses, and set forth a delectable spread of food and drink, including our rose tea the signature beverage of Pearl World. The Pearl World universe abounds with tastes, smells, sights, and sounds, and individual attention from Dane and Ying for each and every client visitor of Pearl World. Pearl World is committed to old school personal service. We sit, talk, and engage with every client, large and small. Once fully immersed in the Pearl World, our client visitors have left the hectic city streets behind and anticipate the magic to come. So after that first part, it kind of goes on to just talk about what it's like to partner with Pearl World and who they've partnered with and things like that. I will put it in the description so you can read the whole thing if you want to, but this is just going to be a short video and I'm not going to waste your time just reading their entire manifesto to you. It's all quite flowery and fancy after that, but it's not as weird as that first section. But that first section is just so weird. So like, can we break this down for just a second? Obviously Pearl World 
Gold is a private labeling company. So they're not really trying to convince you or me to buy from them. They're trying to convince people who already have money, who want to make a brand like Paris Hilton or Marie Claire. So they're not trying to court like random consumers like you or me. They're trying to tell people who might want to make a private label product with them that they're going to be treated nicely, I suppose. And if you don't know what a private label product is, that's just when somebody wants to make a product. Usually how I hear about it, it's when they want to release like skincare or beauty or nail polish, but they don't want to actually make the product themselves. They don't want to be in charge of it. So they hire a company to take care of all of that stuff and distribution and everything, and they just put their face on it. So that's what this company is trying to do. But still, I really want to go back and unpack what they promise will be at their headquarters. Um, so I've looked into this headquarters. It does appear to be closed, but like, I really wish I could go there. If I can still go there, I would probably be like getting my ticket to New York just to see what I can see. But like, let's walk through it. So when you walk into their showroom, you are apparently greeted by other worldly monk-like figures. And then they say two life-sized sheep, which they say other worldly monk figures, but they don't specify that those two life-size sheep are like figures or statues or anything. So since they specified that before, I can only assume and personally want to assume they must just be full-size sheep. And honestly, if I was like going somewhere to try to get a private label and they were like, would you like to go to the other worldly monk and sheep room? I would be like, Yes. Yes, that sounds exactly right up my alley. They also have a neon quote Coco Chanel. I'm really loving the use of quotes here. So things that they've put in quotes are Rose Tea, Coco Chanel, Pearl World, their own company. And also apparently if you go there, you will get a hug and a kiss from Dane and Ying Eliaison who own this company. And I'm just imagining walking into this place and then just like, ah, oh, hello. Walk past the monk figures, the live sheep, the Dion Coco Chanel, and um, let's just have a little makeout session, talk about your nail polish brand. I mean, I'm sure it's just like a kiss on the cheek or something, but I just can't <laughs> get over the thought of going and visiting Pearl World, having a makeout sesh, drinking whatever the rose tea is, and petting some sheep. This is really all this video is about. Like I said, I don't have a lot of time this week, but I just really wanted to pop one out for you. So there, we have experienced Pearl World. I have taken you on this journey. Uh, someday, I do hope they reopen the Pearl World offices because I would like to go pet some sheeps. I would like to have some makeout time. I would like to hear the monk figures chant. I really hope they chant. If you don't have like a stereo playing Gregorian chant behind your monk figures, then I don't really know what you're doing with your life. But yeah. So that's it for today. Uh, probably the weirdest, shortest video I've made. Maybe not the weirdest video. I did make a video last week where I made a curated collection for one of my favorite movies, The Boy. And I open up in like complete cosplay from the movie and act super weird. And um, some of y'all were into it and some of y'all were not. And honestly, it was just a blast and a joy to just like see the division there. So there's definitely gonna be more stuff like that. Of course, I'm working on the color series video. I'm on my favorite white polishes, and this is another really long one. And so I'm kind of wondering, would you all be interested in an individual favorite white creams or like comparing all of my white cream polishes and then an additional video that's like white polishes that aren't just white creams? Or do you want me to just like lump them all together? Because like I have been swatching so many white creams and frankly, I am going insane because like they take forever to dry and the top coat always lifts them. So um, awful, zero out of 10. But anyway, uh, there's going to be more of that coming. There's going to be more curated collections coming and uh, probably even some more color science videos coming. So please stay tuned. If you had a great time today, please
please hit that like button. If you're new here and you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Also, I have a podcast with my friend Danny Shout. It's called Two Lacquered Ladies. You can get it on YouTube. You can get it wherever fine podcasts are sold for free. I'm also streaming here and on Twitch. I'm also on the grams. I'm fanatic. You're everywhere. Anyway, have a great day. Be kind to yourself. Be awesome to each other. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.